When I say lean, I mean a business that doesn't have the usual bells and whistles that people like to fantasize about. It's a business that's easy to manage and run. A business with very low costs, but is very, very profitable. What's up everybody? Welcome to another edition of the I Will Teach You Business Show. Um, today, I want to discuss how to start a new business that is super lean and super profitable. And when I say lean, I mean a business that doesn't have all of the usual bells and whistles that people fantasize about, right? Um, it's a business that is easy to manage and run, a business that has very, very low costs. So let me start with the story. In 2010, I met up with Mr. Isaac Dorojai. You know, he's late now. Um, he was also known as Otumba Gaddafi. He was the founder of um, DMT Mobile Toilet, and he explained to me how he was running his business, which at the time was valued at over three billion, and he had about twenty employees at the time. To say that I was blown away is an understatement. First off, his office was very, very far away from the traditional business areas in the city; rather, it was on the outskirts, right? Second, the offices were basically portal cabins, basically you know reinforced. Um, containers and third, the entire compound stank of shit because their trucks were being washed. All of that didn't matter, right? The most important thing was that they were minting money, basically. You know, so here's what I learned from him and other billionaires uh, who I've been privileged to sit with and learn from. Number one, when you're starting out, avoid spending money on unnecessary fixed expenses. So this means no team when you start out, no office, no company can nothing when we say digital analysis interactive um our digital marketing agency we worked from home and then the next thing we did was we did, got a small office that was just big enough to take i and my partner you know this allowed us to not make a lot of mistakes and to really really focus on growing our business number two profits first without profit you pretty much have no business you need to be able to track your expenses you need to track your income. You need to track everything perfectly. There are amazing cheap services that you can use to do this. You know, uh, as much as possible, don't accept checks. They normally bounce. You know, take online payment or bank wire transfers. All right. And there are certain KPIs, which are key performance indexes that you need to know. Number one, when you're starting out, limit spending on unnecessary fixed expenses. That means no things, no fancy office, you know, no company car, if you can't afford it, nothing of that sort. When we started Digital Networks Interactive, our digital marketing agency, we worked from home, and next, we got a tiny office that was only big enough for I and my partner, Tony. And we got it for free, actually. So this allowed us to focus, not make a lot of mistakes, and not lose money unnecessarily. Number two, build your business on profit. Revenue doesn't matter if your profits are shit. That's why I favor high profit cash producing business models and types. Without profit, you have pretty much no business. You need to track your expenses. You need to track your income. You need to, you need to track everything properly and perfectly. There are amazing cheap services for doing this, you know, these days, you know, as much as possible, don't accept checks because they normally bounce. Take online payments or bank wire transfers only. And then there are certain KPIs that you must know. How much does it cost you to acquire a customer? How much does it cost you to service a customer or provide your service or deliver your products? How much is the client worth to you at the end of each month and, the, and at the end of each year? I used to do spreadsheets and all that crazy stuff, right? Now I just look at profit. Number three, make things tight. I'm the most undetail oriented person in the world. I had to train myself to be obsessed with details because they matter so much. Why? Because people know in this business, they can smell it like a wild animal can smell fear. This means that the minute you have like say two months of expenses left in the bank. You have to make sure that things are tight and working as they should. Finances, operations, marketing, etc. Number four, keep your funnel full. At the point in which 
in your business, it, that is when you need to be adding people to your funnel so that you can develop a full cycle of people coming in and out. Always have content and advertising that brings in new business non-stop. Number five, your business model may suck, change it. So earlier this year, uh, we came to the conclusion that our business model sucked, right? So what we did was we broke it down, dissected everything, and we built everything from scratch, right? You know, so you have to make sure that, you know, that you watch your business model, find out what's working and what's not working, and cut out what's not working. Number six, make those around you you know, feel wanted, develop relationships, not a network. Your relationships will allow you to excel at what you do. A lot of the revenue that we do is because people love us. It's the difference between break even and making money so, you know, so, so much. Then number seven, you need to evolve fast. You need to be careful who you spend time with. You are the knowledge that you consume. Invest time and money as much as you can afford into meeting new people, make, you know, acquiring new relationships, attending high growth events, you know, taking every opportunity to expand what you know. People pay you for that stuff. It also means that you are evolving at the higher rate than most of your competitors around you. Be okay with the fact that you may only be good friends with someone for six months and then you can evolve and grow beyond them. You know, be okay with the fact that you may need to burn bridges sometimes. You can't serve everybody, but at least you can serve yourself. So that said, even if you take only 20% of this advice and you apply it, I'm sure you will be able to build a great business. And I'm sure you are going to do just fine. Never forget your dream. Never forget your vision. Every morning, close your eyes in the shower. Every night before you go to bed, feel exactly what a great day you will have the next day. Chase your dreams, knock those down, do everything you can, you know, to get your business to where it needs to be. Nobody else is going to do it for you. I love you. Go love yourself and create your empire. Thank you for watching today's video. If you loved it, I will be glad if you give us a thumbs up by liking it. You know, hit the subscribe button to our channel. Follow me on Twitter at Ronald and Zimora. And on Instagram, also at Ronald Zimora. You can also join my Facebook business group by typing I will teach you business in the search box on Facebook. We have more of these same kind of videos coming your way every day. Also, drop a comment below. You know, let's keep the conversation going. And if you would like to learn how to build a profitable business or do marketing better online, I have written a book that explains how to do it. That book is called I Will Teach You Business. And inside, I'll show you how I got started in May 2008 with just now around 60 Naira. And since then, I've built two multi million Naira companies and I've sold over 35 billion. Actually, we sell over 35 billion every year for our clients. You know, I'm going to give you the book for free. It's absolutely free. And all you simply need to do, you just pay for shipping and we will get it to your door. You know, for more details about how to get it, go to I will teach you business.com slash book. Uh, we have limited copies, so we're going to be running out anytime soon. So please, if you want it, just go over to I will teach you business.com slash book. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye bye now.